What's up guys, in today's video I'll be showing you how to install a Papa Lock on any of the Chevy truck series, so the GMC Sierras, Chevy Silverados, 1500s, 2500s, 3500s, um, pretty much all of the GM pickup trucks from 2014 and up will use this exact system. To get started, you'll want to remove this back plate that is on your tailgate using a T15 hex bit. Just a couple screws that hold it in. And I like to keep a magnetic base around just to make sure you don't lose any of those screws. So there's eight screws holding down this back piece on the tailgate. And depending on if you have a bed liner that was factory or not factory, you might want to cut around the edges. Um, this one's factory, so you didn't have to cut around the edges, but sometimes the glue will stick um, if they don't take this off and spray it separately. So you might want to take a visual and cut it out. So now, here's a closer look into your tailgate. And as you can see with the tailgate unlocked, it opens and we will be putting the actuator right here we have to change out this little lever um, and it will then change where this is positioned so first let's take our 10 millimeter socket we'll take out this bolt now there's a little back piece of the clip that holds it in You'll take your pliers again, and it should come right out just like that. So let's throw that in there, and then we'll remove the little arm. Now we're replacing this arm with the kit arm. Here is the arm that it comes with. It also comes with a new clip as well. So now we'll install the new clip. Just like that. Now before you go any further, you will want to grab your keys and make sure the cylinder locks and unlocks still. So there's it locked. These levers don't move, that's how you know it's locked. Here's it unlocked and now it pulls on the levers. So we know it's still working. So now we're gonna grab our actuator, pop a lock, and it goes in this direction. And that little plastic tab you wanna put in the smaller hole. So you just wanna line that up. Sure the tab is in the arm so now we're done with that part of the installation now we're going to begin the wiring part of the installation The smaller wire harness will get put into the tailgate and ran through down the tailgate. The bigger half will meet it at the other side of the tailgate. So just plug that in like so. There's a little hole from the tailgate to the bed right here. I won't pick it up very well. But you can see there's already a wire running through it, and that's for my backup camera. So we're going to run this down through the tailgate, and it's going to come out the hole on this side and into the hole of the bed. So here is 
the wire ran underneath the truck. The wires, the truck's wire harness comes with these clips and all you have to do is just push the wire into them and it holds it for you. I still zip tie it in certain places just for a safety measure. Here's a rubber grommet we're going to be putting the wire harness through. So we have to punch a hole and run the wires through it. And this is the bottom of the driver floorboard. Okay, so now I have the wire ran all the way down the side of the truck. Now the wire is just about right around somewhere down here. This is the driver seat, but it's underneath the truck. So we're gonna remove this plastic panel. All you gotta do is just pull up on it, kinda of pull back when you get up to here, and it'll just remove just like that. And then we'll just pull back the mat, show a little bit of the carpet. And we'll move the carpet out of the way too. So now that we have the carpet out of the way, we have this rubber grommet with the wire going through. I believe it is your parking brake, but I can't remember. We're actually gonna punch a hole in that and we're gonna be running the wire for the rear lock to come through this grommet. After we punch a hole there, run the wire into the truck, we will be removing this plastic clip and our wires that we will be attaching to are inside of here. So just real quick, I'm gonna use the pick and remove this plastic. So here's the wire harness that we're gonna plug the wires into. So I'm gonna go underneath, punch the hole, and I'm gonna run the wires through real quick. So now I've punched the hole and pulled the wires through. So I'm just gonna pull the remaining wire through. Now you don't wanna use a knife and cut a slit in it, cause then it won't be tight enough to still be watertight. Uh, I just use a really small screwdriver and then push the rest of it through. Uh, that way it's still a very tight seal and it's still waterproof and you won't have to worry about moisture or rust or anything like that. So now we're just gonna pull the wire over. Now is the perfect time to go back through the wire harness. Make sure you've got enough room in certain areas that it can flex, won't bind, won't get caught up. So now we're at the final part, wiring in the harness. Now I'm sure this is probably the scariest part of the install to most people but it's really not that difficult. Once you get it done, you'll understand. So I've learned that you don't have to cut all this extra wire harness off. Um, some people might wanna leave it. So if that's what you're looking to do, all you have to do is just run the rest of the wire underneath this foot portion, just in case you ever have to uh, lengthen it in other places. So I'll just be showing you guys how to do it like that. And like that, you're good. So now we're gonna splice into the wires. <clears throat> now the kit comes with these connectors. One just pinches the wire and one goes into the new wire. So we're just gonna cut away at this tape. Make sure to cut away so you don't splice in any unwanted wires. Open that up just a little bit. And cut this one too. Again, making sure you're not cutting any wires. Okay. So here in the harness, we will be looking for a tan wire with a yellow stripe, which is this wire right here. And then we'll be looking for a gray wire. And then here is our gray wire.
just like that. So pull out a little slack on them both. Don't pull too hard, you don't want to pinch any other wires. It doesn't matter which wire you put with either one because back at the tailgate, we can still switch the polarity. Um, that's even what the manual says. So let's start off by, I open these up just a little bit, makes it easier. And you will want to make sure they're facing the right direction. So I'm gonna start off with the blue one, make sure the blue wire's all the way in there. I'm gonna start with the tan wire with the yellow stripe. So I first start off by just using the pair of pliers, make sure the blue wire is pushed in all the way, and just pinch it right into place. You don't want this coming loose on you ever. And then you just clip it in like that. And then repeat that with the green wire. We're just gonna push the green wire in, make sure it's all the way down. Again, pushing in the green wire as far as it can go, and then pinch it. Just like that. And there you should have it. So, lock. Unlock. Lock, unlock, sweet. Make sure your, all your wires are zip tied correctly, everything's good, and then just put the panel back on and you're done. If you guys made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget, pop, lock, and drop it. Until next time.